Jason, man, where, where are you at? Jason, we got a show to do, man. Where are you? Hey, Bo, I'll, I'll be out later. You should be out now. I'm going to start without you. What are these? Hmm. The moves that you're doing on purpose Sing like a sing don't key Talk to the girl that intimidates you Pretend that you're brilliant and charming I said pretend that you're brilliant and charming hey! Oh man, if I don't care Now don't me And now, a man who doesn't even show up on time for his show, Jason Sue! Whoa, 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 whoa! Chase me! Behind you! Oh! Super Punch! Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah. I was just trying to have some fun back got there. A excited. Yeah. Got a excited. <laughs> oh, folks, welcome to Later with Jason Sewell Entertainment Television for Arkansas from the heart of Fayetteville. Uh, I'm Jason. So glad to have you along on this ride, man. Uh, you know, I, I wore a gorilla costume today, guys. That yeah, was why? Uh, why? Just simply so I could say uh, a few things to you. Uh, two gorillas walk into a bar, bartender says, we don't serve your kind here, and the gorillas ask why not, and the bartender says, because you're always monkeying around! <laughs> oh, two gorillas walk into a bar, bartender says, we don't serve your kind here, and the gorillas ask why not, and the bartender says, because you drive the other customers bananas! <laughs> I should've kept punching. <laughs> <laughs> should've kept Probably punching. Probably so. Probably so. Later with Jason Sewell, hey, since we've uh, launched our show, Fox 24, uh, lots of support has come in, lots of people sending us messages, congratulating us, and people are sending messages asking questions. So we've introduced a segment we like to call Mailbag. He's a host with the post, and when you ride a post, he's gonna wind up in the mailbag. Mailbag, one of our viewers has written in with a question, and this time the question is for the band. Question oh for my the goodness. band, guys. Whoa. Here we go. The question is, I've noticed you frequently have a different bassist. What's up with that? that um, that's that's I, the question. I got this one. <laughs> okay, good. There is no different basis. It's always Owen. It's always Owen every week. One guy? One just, guy? Yeah, just the same guy. He just, you know, he's on this diet right uh -huh. now. And, and, <laughs> it's one of those know, new so extreme diets. things fluctuate, diets. and sometimes he gets younger. Yeah. Um, but it's like, it just My depends. My face on, changes. Right. It depends right. on what shake he's had that day. Right. I get it. Blue-green you know, algae. You might have difficulty uh, with that diet today because we're going to be eating some chocolate. Let's talk about that in just a minute. But first... Hey, that's right. Uh, listen to what we got going on today. Uh, exciting show. We've got a guest, Chris Engholm. Chris Engholm, everybody, give a round of applause for Chris joining us on the program. Yes, uh, he's going to be coming and talking to us about uh, an exhibit he has that's going on at the Peel Mansion Museum in Bentonville, coming by to talk to us about that. Uh, I'm really excited about this band we have coming on. The band, Honky Tonk Sound, a country music band, the Reeves Brothers. It's not these guys. Why do you think that we would no give these guys... No reason to get that excited. Uh, they can't even come up with a band name. I know. So, uh, we actually have a oh, band we have, name. What is it? We do. It's uh, Sewell's Tools. <laughs> Sewell's <laughs> Tools. Uh, that's the best moment of this show so far. Uh, Sewell's Tools. Yes, the Reeves Brothers are coming on. Round of applause for the Reeves Brothers joining us on the program. All right, all right, all right. Yes, and joining us at the chef's table this time, we're going to be experiencing some Ozark, some Northwest Arkansas chocolate with Rick Boozy. Rick, what do we have going on over there at the Kaya chocolate table? We've, uh, we've got chocolate from all over the world. This is the home of Arkansas craft chocolate, so we're excited. A home of Arkansas craft chocolate on this program. And hey, folks, stick around right now. We're going to send it to a segment we recorded up at 211 Cafe in Bentonville, a coffee shop. You're going to want to meet our great friend there, Mauricio. Mauricio is going to be talking. And then stick around. Come on back. we got more happening right here on Later. <laughs> Do you like coffee? This coffee is an art form. 
Let's go inside 211 Cafe in downtown Bentonville, Arkansas, and see what Mauricio has brewing. Well, my name is Mauricio Guerrero. I come from Guatemala one and a half year ago. And the reason to, to live here is because my wife uh, decided to apply for a position in home office of Walmart. And yeah, why not? I quit my job and follow the love of my life to, to, to Arkansas, Bentonville. Uh, I need to wait six months to, to be allowed to work here. So uh, in that gap of time, she told me, hey Mauricio, you support me on my dream that it was, that is work in the home office uh, of a big company. Now uh, I support you on your dream to open the coffee shop. And that was nine months ago. And we found this place, uh, painting everything, cleaning everything. And that's my objective, to show a little bit of the good things that we have in, 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 in my country, that is Guatemala. My favorite, and is my recommendation, and that's what everyone that comes from that door I tell him, tell them, is uh, the AeroPress. The AeroPress is a manual technique that you will have a really strong cup of coffee. It's one of the four different manual techniques that we have here. So the AeroPress, you will have a short cup of coffee, really strong, but at the same time, you will not feel the punch on your face that a couple of shots of espresso could use. We ground the coffee. This is the full immersion technique. That's the kind of type, the type of, of technique that we are using right now. And it's just throw a little bit of hot water, uh, wait 30 seconds. We are, we are making the desgasification stage or the pre-infusion stage. We are taking out all those gases. And if you see these little bubbles over there, uh, that's all the CO2 and gases that is going out. If we stay with that, we will have this gassy flavor in our cup and we don't want that. We want coffee to taste like coffee. So now we go all the way up, still a little bit. So that's the magic of the manual technique is that you can have all these flavors in this technique. And overall, I'm a true believer on the social thing of the coffee, not the trendy thing. The sights and sounds from my neck of the woods to yours. This is Site Specific. Later with Jason Sewell is proudly presented by Sam's Furniture. For the largest selection of quality name brand furniture at everyday guaranteed low prices, get it at Sam's. Hey, welcome back. Later with Jason Sewell, everybody. Uh, right here at the desk, our desk sponsored by Old Buildings LLC. Old Bill, we love those guys. We do love those guys. And they, they never get us. old. <laughs> They, they don't get old, that's right. Uh, joining me as always, my boon companion over here, Mr. Bo Counts. Uh, and at the desk now to talk to us about what he has going on, Mr. Chris Ingholm. Chris, thanks for being on the program. Thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, so uh, we were just talking a moment ago about uh, your role and how you're an artist slash mm -hmm. uh, exhibit uh, curator. Uh, what do you have going on? I've done photography and filmmaking and even a lot of music. Right. But uh, when I got to Arkansas, I figured it's, it's uh, kind of an unmined vein in terms of history and culture. So yeah. first thing I saw was the White River. Yes, And I said, you know, something's got to be done about the White River. There was no grand book done yet. So I built a wood canoe. From Cedar, scratch? From scratch. Well, I actually acquired a half-built hull, and I put the rest together. A guy gave me the book to do it. So it took two months to do it. It was uh, only two months. I just two months. I mean, I mean, I've done a little woodwork, but it was way over my head. But uh, it came out pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, so, absolutely. Anyway, 700 miles later, I, I completed the White River. We did a nice exhibit on that, and it's called White River Memoirs. So did that you was say my first. 700, 700 miles? Yeah, it yeah, wasn't like done. Miles? It wasn't done in, in, in one little stretch. Wow. I did it over the course of two and a half years, oh. uh, about 100 miles at a time. So we'd go okay. off of three or four days at a time. Gotcha. And then bringing us forward to where we are now and how you arrived at this exhibit you have coming up in Bentonville. Talk to us about that. So as I was paddling down this, this White River about halfway through, I ran into the granddaughter of Hugo and Ganey Preller. They were photographers. They were floating photographers. They had a houseboat. And they came down the Mississippi River and then went up the White River in this houseboat photographing people. Had a studio right on the boat. And I asked this, uh, her granddaughter, her, who's also named Ganey, I said, well, what happened to all the old photography? Yeah. And she says, well, it's here somewhere. So we ended up with 2,500 wow. prints and glass negatives. That's incredible. It ended up being the largest collection of uh, Delta photography. Yes. We put together uh, an exhibit called House of Light, 
their their studio was uh, called House of Doors. Okay. And uh, so it's opening at the Peel. Yes, so if people want to see that, um, talk. what do they need to know? When does it open at the Peel? There's going to be a, a free reception February 17th, yeah. 6 in the evening. So. Uh, it should be a real great party. and Starting on February 17th, running all the way through April 8th, so folks have a lot of time to have access to go see that. The largest collection, say it again, the largest collection of... Uh, uh, of portrait of photography from the Delta. Plus, it's sort of a, a, a female photographer story and a female entrepreneur story at I a time it. when not many women were running their own businesses. Right. So it just left Little Rock. It was at the Historic Arkansas Museum there. Well, we're certainly, you know, lucky to have you here as part of our Arkansas community and curating exhibits like this. Um, so Thanks. thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, before we let you go, one thing that we always do, uh, we have a lot of fun with this, is that we ask our guests uh, their spirit animal. Uh, an animal that would sort of encompass who you are as a human. Uh, so if I was to pose that question to you, what, what's your answer? It doesn't answer? have to be limited to a river animal. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Well, I was going to say the alligator, you know, the alligator gar, but no. Uh, <laughs> when I was in Guatemala, you know, they're very, they're very big on your animal spirit, your guardian animal spirit. Sure. And they call it a nahual. I think Bo's spirit animal is a norwal, which is norwal. Uh, <laughs> norwal and a similar. Norwal. Yeah, Battle. norwal and norwal. He's a, here we go. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway. Mine, mine is the deer. It's tough to have your spirit animal be a deer and then try to learn how to deer hunt in Arkansas. Oh, I bet they <laughs> do that. You just aim up and you go, oh, you cough right before you pull the trigger. Yeah. You go, well, well, I don't know. Did someone, when you were there, did someone like give you that animal as your spirit animal? Or? No, you look it up in this, they have kind of an, uh, an Akashic record of all the birth dates. Okay. So, uh, kech is the deer, and I'm 10 kech. Like you really like you actually uh, had this prepared. Normally we ask them, oh geez, I don't know butterflies. And you're just like, well, in Guatemala, my spirit animal was assigned to me based on a zodiac calendar. I know. Yeah, you're so prepared. There's not even a joke we can make of yeah. it because it's like validated like, cool. by a book in the Mayan culture. And a shaman and everything else. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, you got to check out the exhibit up there uh, at the Peel Mansion Museum. Chris, thanks for being here oh, so much. Here. So thanks. glad that you were here. Thanks uh, so much. Bo? It's awesome. Uh, it's such a hidden treasure, and I can't wait to see it. Absolutely. Folks, stick around. we got more coming up right here on Later. Galactic Raiders! Sir, we are experiencing subatomic turbulence from the solar flare. Captain, we're experiencing subatomic turbulence from the solar flare. I suggest you engage the subatomic turbulence regulator. Right, right, right. Um, is that, uh, this button? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right, I did it. I did it. Yes, me. Because I, I usually always get it mixed up with this one. Our musical guests brought to you by Walden Art Center, presenting the new West Street Live series. From their album Home Sweet Honky Tonk, this is the Reeves Brothers with oh, Local Loser. He'll be here all week. Well, I bet you didn't know we could have been a country music star. This town had never seen someone who could pick and sing like that. But we were all so proud to know the man with the feathers in his hat. We started getting used to his newfound local fame. He was a big fish in a small pond. Everybody knew his name. Got wrapped up in the spotlight. Whiskey women and the late nights. He was riding high and feeling no pain. Now he's the local loser. He's a smoker. Take a real good look He does better on 
school and the state. Chef's Table, brought to you by Kaya Chocolate. Kaya, the home of Arkansas Craft Chocolate, sharing our passion for single origin bean to bar chocolate. Hey folks, welcome back here at the Chef's Table. Joining me, Mr. Rick Boozy from Kaya Chocolate. Hey, Rick, thanks for coming on the program. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Look at all this uh, lovely, you know, chocolate. We've got a lot of beans here. Um, so let's talk for a moment about Kaya. Four years ago, we were working in Uganda in Central Africa at an right. orphanage. Uh, I was working in one of the slums, and after a couple of weeks there, I just lost it one day, just overwhelmed with the motion and just uh, all of the poverty going on. I right. said we had to do something. And so we looked at the natural resources of Uganda. One was coffee, which I got a bunch of friends that are coffee roasters. That didn't make sense. Cotton. Right. Love cotton, but I'm not a textile guy. Right. And the last one was cacao or chocolate. And I'm like, I like chocolate. How hard I'll could that, that be? One. We'll yes. do that one. Yeah. Yeah. And so what's happening over there, Bo? Nothing. Uh, nothing. nothing. I'm just <laughs> eating chocolate. Uh, I mean, <laughs> talk about Gaia. Cool. I don't know, uh, if that's how you're supposed to eat that. Well, that's actually cacao beans or cocoa beans, and that's kind of how it starts. That's pure, okay. unprocessed. Thanks. I will help you in a minute. Yes, please. The right way. Well, let's talk about these beans, and let's talk about the process of how it goes from bean into those bars that we have over there. Yeah, so what we do is bean to bar. We're the home of Arkansas Craft Chocolate. We start with beans from around the world. Each has a unique flavor. Mm -hmm. Eat one, Bo. You're Can welcome. You have one of those? I want to know the right way to do it. Here. Okay, so, so I got my, my, my bean. Yep, so what you would do is crack it open. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, that's a lot better. It probably, yeah. yeah, without the shell, it usually tastes a lot better. It all makes yeah. sense. Yeah. When you start, you start with nib, right? So mm -hmm. after we open the shells, and then the rest. I started with nib. Uh, was well, nib yeah. one of your nicknames? So when if you I'm going to eat all this, school? will I have a chocolate bar in my belly like when I'm all done? It's kind of like eating, yeah. So we have a cocoa press, and we actually will liquefy those nibs for about 24 hours. Liquid chocolate? A little, yep, similar. Okay. That's okay. our syrups. <laughs> um, we add cocoa butter, sugar, salt. Wait, and what? Vanilla. Was that last one? Salt. Oh, salt. Yes. We love salt on this yeah. show, even when it deals with chocolate. I mean, I saw liquid chocolate. Yeah. And uh, no. you heard there was gonna be chocolate. He brought a Dude, glass. I'm prepared. You're located in Northwest Arkansas. You're in Elm Springs, and you were saying before that a lot of local businesses use this uh, this cho this chocolate syrup. Yeah, Is a lot right? of the coffee houses use that for their mocha drinks. That's awesome. Yeah. And then um, then our primary product is is chocolate bar. So we make. We actually were finishing the count last week. We're kind of doing the year-end stuff, and we actually made 56 different chocolate bars this wow. year. For instance, that's the s'mores bar. Which one did you steal? Uh, <laughs> nothing, I just found bar. it. Uh, dark chocolate, handcrafted, yeah, coffee-infused. Yeah, so this is one of our, our coffee-infused infused chocolate nice. bars. I really like the packaging on this one. 
Yeah, talk the to us white about bar. the white bar. Is that a white chocolate bar inside of the pack? It is. Why don't we open it up? Get Grab it. a bite. Mm. Oh, I'd love to, to try a piece of this. There you go. Does yeah. the band need some? And uh, there hey, it is. look at that. Folks, stick around. Rick's going to be here. Uh, Chris is going to come back, and we're going to have more fun right here on Later. Oh. We're talking about chocolate. We're talking about flavor. Chef's Table, brought to you by Kaya Chocolate. Kaya, the home of Arkansas Craft Chocolate, sharing our passion for single origin bean to bar chocolate. Hey folks, uh, thanks for joining us. We want to make sure we thank our guests, Mauricio from 211 Cafe. Chris Angholm. The Reeves Brothers. And Rick Boozy from Kaya Chocolate. Let's try some chocolate. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Woo! Get into it. Like, way to open this.